I assume one is on the left. Yep. That's funny, it's like two levels worth of Game Genie. <laughs> you know, the, mm -hmm. the menu and then on the power pack. Hope that little 3.3 volt regulator can dissipate all that power. Looks like that runs. It's kind of hard to play without audio. garbage speakers. Well, you get the phone, you can plug both of those in. Oh wait, you gotta plug that one in. I think it's on your side. Yeah, it's on the, it's on the side of the monitor, which is very strange. digit has to match so it was 11 and I had 10 and then you stop the timer on an even time because it adds 50 each time so that'll add 100 so it won't roll over <laughs> right you know what I mean yeah so you so you can do it on any multiple of 11 it doesn't matter what No, just world one and three, I guess. I always like how the coins are blue on the very right. I hate to wonder how hot that 3.3 volt regulator is getting right about now. <laughs> is your camera available? Um, no, unfortunately. I need, I need to get some analog uh, rechargeables for it. 
Well, I might, I can, I can charge up the double A's I have, I guess. Is it hidden under the cart? Um, no, it's in the back, but it may be. We'd have to take the case off again. So far, I'm impressed. It seems to work well. I hated these. I can never line that up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was fun. You know what this is right here? No. It's a machine gun, but it's black. Watch when the um, when those bombs explode. You know the ones that run these guys. 
watch that, and you'll see, actually see it. It's got to be at a one where you can actually see it when the bomb goes off and those screen flashes. But that's what that is. Yeah, see it? Sure do. I think it's kind of... Probably like a graphic bug and they just never, you know, fixed it. But it looks almost like a glitchy graphic or something. Yeah, my friend told me I never noticed that the red rocky wrenches are the ones that just die and then they're gone. And it's like the yellow ones that, um, come back. But what the hell is that thing supposed to be? Do you think that's supposed to be like a wind-up key? I've always wondered that. This thing that I'm standing on. I was wondering what that was supposed to be. Just like on two of the tanks and none of the others. Oh, I guess it's on that one too. I didn't think it was on all of them. Fail. I'll be disappointing if none of these NSFs play. Well, guess the power pack NSF players broke. Hmm. I'm disappointed at that. I'm genuinely disappointed at that. Sucks. So none of these NSFs will play? Ugh. Fail. I'm really disappointed. I am disappointed. Now let's try this one. <laughs> oh, that works. Okay. Let's try the flowing palette one. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Oh, that works. Good. Let's see what else do I have in here. <laughs> hey, can I update my high def on this thing? <laughs> This one can get stuck in a... This one will fail sometimes on the high def nest. And it's because there's a race condition 
in the game when it starts up between the frame IRQ and the, the NMI. So it causes various graphical corruption and stuff. It's, almost, it's like a bug in the game because it gets stuck in a, like a race condition between the two interrupts. It can get interrupt bound. Yeah, this down here can corrupt sometimes. Oh, that's nice thing is guns and I have fists. That's awesome. This is a really weird game. It's like the first level is like super like stupidly easy. And then the second level is like incredibly difficult. <laughs> I need to update it. What about it? There's an update for it already. Oh yeah, you're right. Well, it's supposedly something to do with the audio. I wonder if it's one of those, um, those... the thing we saw. But the audio coming out, this is 48 kilohertz. I thought it was 44.1, and then he updated it to 48k, and that's what fixed it. So maybe it doesn't need updated. So it may not, yeah. Maybe that was for the ones that went out to the... Oh, that could be. <laughs> oh, yeah, this game is... I think that's really weird about it. Eat shrooms? <laughs> yeah, eat shrooms, but to get the globe, you have to do various things, and it doesn't tell you what you have to do to get them. You know, on the first level, they're just right there to collect. But, like, in this level, there's one, like, way the hell up there. It's like, well, how the hell... Now yeah, that's off. That loop noise is wrong. That tink, tink, tink noise. It's wrong with it. It's the wrong pitch. So that's that. Now let me play it here. I'll have to take a little bit to find it. NSF has 183 tracks, it can be hard to find it. Specifically for that game, but I don't know what happened to it. There it is. Okay, now listen to this. Yeah, 
spirit. Not bad. What's funny is if you get two things playing the same thing at the same time, then you like desync them a little tiny bit. It sounds really weird. That's my gut. play Solstice. I may have to throw it on my cart to play it. Whoops, come on, seven. Select button on this controller is shot. Oh yeah, that song. Yeah, you can't hit start on that screen either, which is a design flaw in my opinion. No love for the start button. I like how there's no cars on this. Mm -hmm. And Joe sold uh, one copy of this on eBay and got a lot of money for it. Recently? Uh, that was a couple of years ago because it was a prototype, if it was. It's not really playable. No, it's playable. We played the uh, um, first level, first couple levels. <clears throat> Ever played the 2600 version of it? What is it, Frogger or something? Freeway. Freeway. Uh, yeah, we actually had it when I was a kid for the 2600. <laughs> That's what it's for. Only on the 2600, there's not a car in the middle there. So it's like a safe area, so you can stop there. Just like Roger. <laughs> yeah, 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 actually. So anyways, that's the whole idea. What are you, a kangaroo? No, you're supposed to be a chicken. <laughs> a kangaroo. <laughs> there is a game called that. Oh, that's pretty much a um, pretty good test, I think. If not working. Oh uh, yeah, well I can do it again. Not much to show, but yeah. Yeah. We'll play three player bomber man. I thought you could play four player but I can just three. Because you, know, you don't have the adapter, so. 
Anyway, so yeah, it seems to be working pretty well. I tried just about all the games I can think of that would have problems. Other than NSFs that don't work. Man, that's a disappointment to have. I'm sure that works. He's had to have tested that. Yeah, it looks like I tested God, it just irritates the hell out of me. Since none of the NSFs work, I can't play any NSFs. I can't give the audio a really good workout like I wanted to. I wonder how that's not come up yet. I don't know. I did hack the NSF player very slightly, but all I did was I write to some of the PPU area mirrors um, to enable the extra chips on the high def. That's what it does. That's all I did. It's the stock uh, NSF player other than that. Oh yeah, I disabled player 2 um, controller also. Because the player 2 controller is how you get into the menu, or at least how I get into the menu. So I can still do it while it's playing in NSF. So I could turn like the chips on and off and stuff. Right. But other than that, that's the only mods I did to it. Um, I guess maybe it doesn't like me writing to the PPU area. I guess I can ask Bunny Boy if he's got registers hiding in there. Which he very well might. Yeah. But yeah, because normally you wouldn't write there. So like 3F, FA or something. I have it documented actually what it does. So. If people are writing a new game and they want to use like VRC7, they can write to that register and it'll automatically turn it on for you. So oh, the game cool. can just use it, you know, just like it was part of the thing. Hmm. If you want VRC6, turn it on. If you want both, turn them both on. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this will work. The the, biggest you're gonna have a feature in the mini, right? What? The NT mini. What what feature? Spanish audio. Oh yeah, yeah. It'll be just basically like the high def is now. was named after the vacuum cleaner. You know what I mean? Yeah. I thought this game was sort of a cop out because you can just like float at the top of the screen and just go through the entire level. One thing I noticed, I don't know if you noticed, but when I went through that door, it seemed like really loud. Notice that? A lot, a lot louder than it normally, I think it would be. Same with, it's the same thing on uh, Boulder Dash when you collect one of the diamonds. It, it seemed louder than it, it should have been for some reason. Like high frequency stuff is louder. Like that. Maybe not. Maybe I'm just thinking it. I like 
like on this game how many one time use things they seem to have. That's the game does that. Could be wrong. This is pretty much what you get. But what? Oh. Oh, it's my monitor. So you can change that. Oh, that's it. Nine different ones. Well, that's kind of bad because you can't really get a good idea what what it's doing. You know what I mean? That's all the options there are. That. Oh, I see. That's kind of nice. Let's say USB disconnecting. No, not connected. Yeah. Play the game while connected to the computer through the scoreboard. I don't. I think it's sort of kind of neat, but I don't know how useful it is because you have to have it connected to your computer the whole time. So I mean, that's kind of a pain in the ass. You're out a better way, buddy. <laughs> Bluetooth. <laughs> Why? I don't have any desire to do it. Money. Yeah. Well, who's gonna buy it? Well, if you have Bluetooth. People. <laughs> If you had Bluetooth, then you could just have your smoke fart smartphone right there. That'd be really cool. As bad if you had your smartphone, you just sit your smartphone right on your ABS here, and then as you play the game, you can see, you know, as when you load the game, you can just see all the scores right there and stuff. You know what I mean? Be nice. That would be really, really nice and handy versus having to tether it to your computer. You know, most people don't have a computer right by their TV. I guess if you had a laptop, you could do that. But then you're powering this off the laptop, and this, I don't know if this does the power control stuff that, you know, the, you know, for the USB, if this just suckles five volts, or this actually asks the host for more than 100 milliamps. I don't know. It really does. I don't, I don't know. I doubt it. Mm -hmm. There, in fact, I, I doubt it because there's no power control for the to power this thing when you when the power is enabled it just turns everything on if it was to ask for more power it'd have to have a power switching set up of some kind you know what i mean yeah. it doesn't it's just directly connected there is an enable line on that five volt boost regulator you could have wired that into the pit so if it asks for the 500 mils if it didn't get it it just wouldn't turn on you could flash that led or something because on a PC, it usually doesn't matter because a lot of times it's just wired right to the power supply. But on a laptop, they do a lot more power control, of course, you know, especially if you're on battery. Right. I use the battery real fast. Play with it if you want.
jump off them right under that ledge too. Sometimes. Off of that one you can. We'll go for the spackles. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. It does the job. I can't complain. For 180 bucks, you really can't. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I don't have any complaints other than running a 5 volts into a 3.3 reg and boosting it back up to 5 is kind of silly, but mm -hmm. it does the job. Is there ever, does the Everdrive play that stuff? I don't think it does, does it? Um, no, it does not, unfortunately. Yeah, it's getting pretty warm back there. You don't have any carts with NSFs on? Mm -hmm. Nope, I'd play them on this thing. You know, that's my NSF player. I guess I can test it when I get home. Yeah. Do you have an NSF? Yeah, you, yours has an NSF player. You got a power pack, right? Yeah, I don't know why the Everdrive doesn't play NSFs. I thought that was a big, you know, letdown. Everdrive? What? Cuz Everdrive? <laughs> well, I guess when you pump out that many different cartridges for that many systems, you know, you just don't have a lot of time to flush them out. <laughs> 